Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my kitchen. If you are new here, hello, my name is Amanda. Today we are going to be doing taste test video, none other than Trader Joe's, some new July finds. I'm finding this so much fun. Like I loved Trader Joe's before and now I love it even more because I feel like it's a game now. Whenever I see that new item tag, I just need to, I need to get it. I have to. It's like supermarket sweet, but a lot less messier. So today we are going to get into it. I'm excited. These are items from July, the first two weeks of July. There is one item that I meant to share in the last video. If you've not seen that, I will link it below. So definitely check that out. But I did forget the item because it was in my fridge. So we're going to taste it today. All right, let's get into this. Okay guys, first up today, we have some fruit spreads. One of these, the watermelon one, I meant to put it in the last video and I forgot. The consistency on both of these is very different. So one is the watermelon, the other is the peach. So I'm curious to see, I'm a big fan of peach. I, that is my, I used to live in Georgia, so that's my like, I don't know, fell in love with peaches out there. So I just put these on a crumpet from Trader Joe's. If you've never had their crumpets, highly recommend. They're so good. Far superior than an English muffin. Let me know if you feel the same way. But I just added a little butter and then put some of the spread on it. This one's the watermelon one. Let's see what it's like. Honestly, it doesn't really taste like watermelon. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really getting any, I'm not getting a very strong watermelon taste to it. Um, there is cherry in this and I do kind of get that at the very finish. So that's interesting. All right, let's do this peach, which I'm actually really excited about. So let's see. Oh. Oh, this I could put on anything. Pancakes, cereal. <laughs> I don't even eat cereal, I wouldn't do that. But um, yeah, this one's very, very good. I like it a lot. Um, and yeah, very clean ingredients. Just peaches, sugar, water, and the citric acid. I, I like this one a lot, big fan. Definitely pick up this one. Okay. Cleanse the palate a little bit, get rid of all that sweetness. Next up we have, we're, let's keep it with breakfast, I guess. We're gonna be doing these egg bites. Um, I kind of tore into them. There's an egg white one with cheese and spinach, and then this one has bacon and cheese. So, quick heating up. It was 60 seconds in the microwave, which I thought is very convenient. I'm thinking they're doing like a riff on the Starbucks, the sous vide ones. That's what I'm guessing. Let's go in here with the bacon. Let's see. Let's see what it's about. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Very fluffy. Wow. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. That one's good. That one's good. So this one has, the egg white one has spinach and kale in it. So for the vegetarian option, it looks very fluffy. It's very similar. The um, texture is very similar to the Starbucks ones, so that's cool. Ooh, I like the I like the egg white one better. I've been eating more egg whites, so maybe that's why. But no, this one's definitely more flavorful. I get more of the cheese, and it just feels very light and airy. So big win on both of these, I think. They were $2.99, I want to say, and I feel like Starbucks might be a little more. So grab these up, put them in your fridge, a lot easier. I took another bite of that egg white one. Oh my gosh, the texture is really good on that. It's really good. Okay, so now we have like the snack section, which has been here teasing you guys. This was interesting to me. It's the chili pineapple flavored popcorn. When I was um, checking out, somebody made a comment on it. One of the workers like, oh, 
it wasn't as good as I thought. So let's see what let's see what it's about. Um, I don't like when they do the rip here. Anybody else? I'm just not a fan of it. You want the whole thing open, right? Okay. It smells really good. It smells very refreshing, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's. I like the smell, and it kind of has that kettle corn um, texture to it. I'm a bit underwhelmed. I don't really get much of a flavor. It's very interesting because I get that fresh, like almost jammy, like a pineapple. I do get like a freshness from a fruit. And then there's like a little bit of paprika that slips in, but I don't know. I don't think I would get it again. I definitely like this makes me think it's going to be like chili hot and it's definitely not that way. Um, but it's all right. They do that. Um, they did like an all seasoning popcorn. I want to say it was at the beginning of this summer. That one over this beyond. But yeah, it was okay. Whatever. I, I'm, I'm not like I need to eat it again or try it again. So, all right. These seemed interesting. Salsa Verde corn chips. Um, I do like their Salsa Verde in a jar. And I'm assuming they're just going for that in the chip form. So let's see. Not much flavor. Or smell, excuse me. Yeah, nothing crazy. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. These are good. These pack a lot of flavor. Oh, I like these. I like these a lot. Mm -hmm. I could see you just scooping some pico in it. It would add extra flavor to that, extra flavor to your guac. Yeah. These ones are good. Big fan. Definitely pick those up. Okay, so next up we have these strawberry jalapeno crisps, which I thought would go really good with this briette, which is like a cross between a brie and something <laughs> but it is lactose free so if you are if you do have like a lactose issue maybe this could be a good option I don't know I'm not the biggest fan of a brie I'll be honest it's not one of my like go-to's um the rind is you know that bitter rind it just doesn't entice me so I don't know these, though, sounded very interesting. I kind of, I'm like jalapeno, strawberry, okay. Something different. I do want to taste this on its own first to get a feel for it. So let's see. I do love a lot of these crackers. The fig one is really good. So let's see. I do see a lot of, like, jammy vibe with the strawberry. Um, I don't know if I see jalapeno. Maybe there's just essence of it. very slight kick very slight but it's there you do get a spice to it you definitely get more spice in here than the popcorn so there's that for you um hmm i really i do oh there is spice yeah it lingers in there i get a little sweetness but i think the spice comes through a little more than the um strawberry so let's try with the brie. Um, we'll just put a little piece on there. Oh yeah, that spice is like still there. It's like, hey, how you doing? All right. Mm. So this definitely right away, you know how brie has that like, with the rind on it, it's like, oh, mold kind of vibe. Like, you're like, you stop and you're like, wait, what? It has it, but very little. Nothing too crazy. This is a brie I, I could actually eat and be okay with. So, yeah, I would say these are both a winner. Okay, last up, I'm, 
I think this is new. The packaging intrigued me. I'm a big um, package shopper. If it looks really pretty, I'll probably pick it up. Um, but I like the aesthetic of this. I don't know if this is new. It was just at the register. I'm thinking it might be. Um, and I'm just gonna try a piece of it. It is um, milk chocolate truffle bar. Let's see what we got. I can open it. Okay, cool. So it says it's filled with dark chocolate. So I'm usually more of a dark chocolate fan. But let's see. I don't really get like a truffle inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know. Hmm. It's good. You know, it's organic. It, there is that set, that creaminess that I like. Um, but yeah, I, I wish there was a dark chocolate version, like dark chocolate all around, because I would have preferred that. But this is good. If I'm craving something sweet at the end of the night, I'm probably gonna have like a square of this. It'll suffice for me. All right guys, so that is it for this week's taste test. My tops, what were my tops? Definitely the peach fruit spread. Big fan of that. Get the crumpets, beautiful. And then I would say the salsa verde tortilla chips. They definitely please me. They're very packed with flavor, which I thoroughly enjoyed. If you liked this taste test and you want to see more of these, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.